Canada's first Governor General, Charles Stanley Monk. He grew up in Ireland, studied law at Trinity College in Dublin, and in 1852 became a member of Parliament of the House of Commons in England. In 1861, he crossed the Atlantic to become the Governor of British North America. At the time, tensions were mounting between Canada and the United States. Twenty days before he took office, a diplomatic crisis between Britain and the United States erupted. Canada was caught in the middle. Lord Monk defused the situation. An advocate of confederation, he was a tireless promoter of unity. One historian commented that Monk deserves an honorable place among the fathers of confederation. In 1867, he was appointed to the position of Canada's first Governor General. Monk was a discreet, persistent administrator. Upon Monk's leaving, John A. Macdonald said, I shall be very sorry when he leaves, as he has been a very prudent and efficient administrator of public affairs. The people of Canada were not so kind. On the day Monk sailed home from Canada, one newspaper wrote, he did not understand the demands of hospitality and of official life. He never gained popularity with the citizens of Ottawa. On a visit to Canada's new capital in 1864, it was reported that he was much disgusted with the squalid look of Ottawa. Monk believed the government would only remain in Ottawa for five years, then move to Montreal. He preferred his home in Quebec City. In 1867, following his inauguration, he declined a public reception by the people. It was reported that the people of Ottawa felt snubbed. The feeling was shared by most Canadians and by many members of Parliament. One newspaper wrote, The bond which would unite the Governor-General and the representatives of the people in Canada has not been strengthened the last few years. Another wrote about the arrogant solitude in which Lord Monk lived. Parliament voted to reduce his salary. The Imperial Parliament declined the request. Those who knew Monk well spoke of his courtesy, kindness and wit. His term ended on November 14, 1868. He returned to Ireland to occupy several minor posts. During his time in Canada, Monk accomplished what he saw as his main role, guiding Canada into Confederation. And yet the people of Canada saw him as aloof and distant. Charles Stanley Monk, Canada's first Governor-General.